2020, and we're right on time with the church bells today. We're reporting live from school because we're here for uh, a packet pickup and drop off day if needed, and any tuition and spirit wear and that kind of thing. There's a few of us here, and we've got our masks. Mine is off for these announcements only, and gloves and that kind of thing. So, let us stop what we are doing in our homes and quietly place ourselves in the presence of God. In accordance with burial tradition, women went to Jesus' burial place to put spices on the body. What they found greatly surprised them. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. <laughs> And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus, who is crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. He has been raised from the dead and is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this silently in your heart. Why is the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead a joyful story? Okay. Um, Margaret today is filming for us so if she could please lead us in the Our Father. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. St. Ferdinand, pray for us. We have no birthdays today, so we will stand and say the pledge now. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so here we are, we're back, kind of back. Um, we, are, we are here, some people have come to pick up their packets, like I mentioned earlier. We're here till 10 o'clock today, if anybody else wants to drop off anywhere or pick up anything. Um, I wish I could say we were coming back soon, right? But as we all know, we are not, and that's kind of sad. But, um, you know, we're going to keep on with the e-learning. We're going to have another week of Spirit Week here. So today is our is our USA Day. So I've got my USA shirt on. I've even got some USA socks with my principal shoes that I normally reserve for Spirit Wear Day. Hopefully today you too can find some red, white, and blue to wear in support of our country as we all stick together during this time. Um, so this is going to be our last virtual spirit week. So uh, as your parents got emailed, that's on the Facebook here as well. Today's USA Day. Tomorrow's PJ Day. So I'll be um, coming live to you from my home in my pajamas. And hopefully you'll be nice and cozy as well. Wednesday is Earth Day. We're going to ask you to do something special for Earth Day, whether it's cleaning up or planting something. Um, maybe even making a decoration out of things you find around your yard. Thursday is tacky tourist day, pretend you're going on a vacation. I know we all wish we could head somewhere now, but since we can't, we can pretend. And dress up like we're going someplace. And then Friday is a, like a decades flashback day. So if you want to pick an era from the past, the roaring 20s, fun of the 60s, hippies of the 70s, I don't know, neon of the 80s, etc, etc, and dress up with that might be kind of fun for this week too. After that, we're going to begin um, to have some fun Fridays, and your parents already know about that, and we'll talk about more about that as they get closer as well. But we're going to have some opportunities for all of us to uh, see each other with gloves and with masks 
and from safe distances, but still have fun. And still keep in touch as the weather gets warmer. Don't forget we're working on being considerate. It's still April, so make sure you're being considerate around your houses, being nice and respectful of your parents' work time, being nice and respectful to your teachers. Okay? Um, if you do take a picture in USA colors today, make sure you send it to school at stferdinand.org. Also send us some Our Fathers. I think I have one more left from before spring break. So send in more of those prayers. Send in jokes. It'll be Friday before we know it. We'll have our Friday funnies and that kind of thing. And also, today your teachers will be asking for the reading totals. Before break, we actually had 40,000 minutes. Some teachers reported late after I had done announcements. So we'll see if we make it to the 75,000 and then we'll... <laughs> we got it. Miss Ginny's in the background there and she's uh <laughs> We got it guys, we got it. <laughs> she's our, our most enthusiastic reader here um, on staff and maybe the whole school. So she's been reading and reading and reading and hopefully you have too and we'll get some totals and see so that whenever we have our return to school celebration, I'll be on the roof doing Yay! something. <laughs> we shall see. All right, so um, we also today have to do our drawing, our monthly raffle drawing. Usually kids are here in the office helping us, you know, for the three $100 prizes, the $200, one, one $200 prize, one $300 prize. So we're going to spin that. And uh, this Jenny here is spinning and spinning. <laughs> and she's going to pull our $300 winner. Okay. All the way down to the bottom here. <laughs> And the lucky winner is. I only got one. <laughs> so, write 300 on your first. Okay. Make the big reveal. <laughs> All right. Christine Jolino Bubbles. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, missed the step. Our camera <laughs> person is, uh, <laughs> she's okay. <laughs> all over the place here. <laughs> oh, stairs, be careful. This is the Bobbles family. All right, so yay. That's our $300 winners, the Bobbles. All right, the $200 winner just pulled here. Rafael Rodriguez, related to Jaden Rodriguez. Woohoo! Excellent. Excellent. And now we have our three. Checks will be coming. We'll have that published online. Thank you, Miss Jenny. Thank you, Miss Margaret. Um, hopefully, we'll uh, see your pictures, send them in in your USA support. And uh, tomorrow, we'll see you um, from my house. And hopefully, you'll be wearing your pajamas and be nice and cozy. Have fun. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you soon. <laughs>